there is the humble abode that we stayed in last night. Our water spigot, our picnic area, a place to hang things, a grill, and a fire pit. Upon arrival, you see this awesome double bunk. And then we have a really cool shelf with our binder giving us information on the yurt and basically rules of the park. There's a light switch here for lights and also for a fan, but we found that the lights on the fan don't work. They do have a lamp in here, so that worked out perfectly. This is the bed, essentially, the sofa and the bed. And then you've got a really cool eating area with these four stools that are very sturdy and they do swivel, so that's fun. The heater is back here. It is not terribly warm, but it actually did work for us for the night, so that was nice. The shelf by the bunks was perfect for housing the kids' shoes. There is a beautiful back deck. And then look at these fun chairs. If it wasn't raining, Erin and I would have sat in these this morning. Heading back inside, we'll turn off the light. I'll take my stuff up to the car, and we will bid this yurt farewell. Make sure I've got my keys. Goodbye, yurt. Our family is officially going glamping. Yay! Are you excited, Marcus? Yes, I'm very excited. We made it to Tugaloo State Park. The office is closed, but this is our key. Late arrival information. It's eight o'clock. We were hoping to be here at four. The office closes at five. Most important part. Nice, Kate. And do you know how to get to the yurt? Second most part of the park. Oh, what is that? The map to the Oh, the, the map to the yurt. And then there's a lovely map here. We should be right on Lake Hartwell, which I'm super excited. And we are here. It says yurts two through six, foot traffic only. So we're going to go out into the darkness and find our way on foot. Yay. The bathrooms are right by where the parking is. So we're going to go ahead and go potty before we walk to our yurt. Right now, we need to go potty. No, we're not using the shower right now, baby. Oh, it's nice, there's a family bathroom. What do you think, babe? Good. This is where we'll have to walk to to use the bathroom while we're staying here. Okay, Daddy. number four is us. Here it is, the yurt. Oh my gosh, it literally is better than it even seemed to be on the website. The main light went out, so it's good that we brought more lights, but look at this. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Yeah, we did bring a light. <laughs> oh man, yeah, we did. We brought our construction light. This bunk bed, Oh my gosh. It does make you kind of wish this was your home. And this is the bed that Erin and I will be on. It's like a futon that opens up, I'm guessing. It was definitely a hike to get down here, so Erin's knee is all wonky, and I'm gonna go out to the vehicle and bring everything in. Marcus is impressed by the beds. But how did you get up here? You have to kind of climb. That's a little bit tricky, babe. So you do have to bring your own sheets. These are like plastic covered mattresses. Thankfully, we brought our own light. This light is like so freaking fantastic. And now we can see. Keep going. Keep going. You got it. You're doing good, baby. Yeah, you got it. Bring your leg over. happy place. He doesn't look happy, but we secretly know that he is. Gaming in the wilderness is possible. Yes, gaming in the wilderness is what we've got here. It's raining now, so we can hear the raindrops coming in on the wonderful top of our yurt. Be careful while you get up there, baby. I think they call this hashtag blessed. Oh, this Where's is my flashlight? You found that flashlight from someone who was here previously. How exciting. I'm actually thrilled that there is a coat hanger for my coat. So fancy. Here's the view from our yurt. 
There's literally water all around. And that's what the yurt itself looks like from the outside. It looks gorgeous and there's lots of beautiful water to look at, but also there are boats that have gone by here this morning and it has sounded like jets were landing right outside. You can kind of get a feel for the proximity to the other yurts that are around us. So I feel like they really are evenly spaced. As far as I can tell, we are traveling the furthest distance to get to the restrooms, but it's a lot easier in the daytime and it's super nice when it's not raining out. These are the carts that are provided to help you bring your belongings down the hill and to your overnight stay. The pathway here is lighted at night, which is awesome, but you can see it definitely is an incline, which means that when you're carrying your stuff downhill in one of those carts, it feels like your belongings are pushing you down the hill, so it's kind of a little bit difficult. But this is the view. You can't ask for a prettier place to wake up to. It is the end of February and we came in the middle of the week. I'm pretty sure that nobody else was staying in a yurt, so we really got to have kind of the place all to ourselves last night, which was nice. The yurt comes with a binder of information. Anything good in there, babe? Uh, a map. Oh yeah, that's where we are. Does it have our yurt actually picked out? Probably not. Probably not. And then my shoes. All right. Can't leave your trash. Fireworks are prohibited. I thought I heard some fireworks last night. Yeah, but probably not in the yurt. No weapons. No weapons, right? Yurt capacity is six people. Checkout time was 11 o'clock, so we gotta keep this train moving. Quiet hours begin at 10 p.m. and end at 7 a.m. No, Ooh, okay. Pretty much sure we, that we, we broke that rule. We shredded that last night. I don't think these kiddos went to bed until 2 a.m. This is our small little private picnic ground. There is a fabulous water spigot. You have to kind of pull it, but yeah. There is a sign reminding you to take your trash with you when you leave. They do provide one extra one, so I'll just switch this out and take it with us when I walk back to the car. You can't always tell when you're looking at a map what the topography is, and so definitely I had no idea that the yurt number four was going to be not only the furthest distance from the bathrooms, but also down a giant hill. Aaron's up with the kids. They are brushing their teeth and going potty before we leave. I imagine that when the weather gets nicer, this place is probably slammed with people. So I'm kind of glad that we got a chance to check it out when no one's here. Oh my God, I'm so tired. I need help loading it up, babe. Yeah, I'll do it. <laughs> hey, sit in your seat, baby. Excuse me, mommy. Yeah. By the way, some other people came in there walking from the car. Okay, sit in your seat, baby. Get, get, get buckled up. Check out the yeah, cool. What did you guys think of the year? Marcus, yeah, we're going to Grandpa's house. What'd you think? Um, I think mean, uh, it made me. I like it. Maybe. It's kind of far away from the bathrooms, and if this were packed, it would not be fun coming here to brush your teeth as a family. Yeah. Excuse me, mommy. Yeah, baby. We, cho we show the children the one yurt. Look. Yes. It's right over there. Yes, it is true. Yurt number one is right there, but if you'll notice, there are wheelchair signs. They like to reserve those for people that are handicapped. Not just people who feel handicapped. And I couldn't leave my top. No, we're going to buckle it here. Let me help you. Just put it over the way it looks on the other one. Yep. Oh my gosh. Better than a morning run. Karen's gonna wonder what happened to me.